Let's move on to some envi to an environmental story. For many years now, Gong Hills Forest in Kajado County has been a tourist attraction site for many people thanks to the scenic beauty of the hills, the trees and a wind farm that is located within the area. The wind farm operated by Kenjan is one of the main reasons why people like to visit the place. Our reporter Chabet Birir paid a visit there and filed this story. Ngong Hills Forest is located in the northern tip of Kajiado County, about 25 kilometers from Nairobi City. The forest covers and is managed by the Kenya Forest Service. People from all walks of life come here every day from as early as 6 a.m. either to hike, for picnicking or even for prayers. Now for the hiking enthusiasts, we are told that there are seven hills around here and it will take you about three to four hours to reach the last hill. The hike was, was good as well. Uh, anybody can do it comfortably. It doesn't have to be uh, somebody who's a professional, somebody who does it uh, regularly. So it's definitely somewhere where I would uh, recommend anybody to come for a, for a weekend hike or a morning hike. And it's peaceful, like if you're having some trouble, some, you're suffering inside, you can just come and have walks and everything will be okay. Gong Hills is also the center of worship for many people who seek to connect to their God at a more spiritual level. Ngong Hills Power Station was initially commissioned in 1993 with two wind turbines donated by the government of Belgium. The two turbines were later retired in 2008 to pave way for the installation of new turbines. Beginning in 2013, Kenya Electricity Generating Company, Kenjen, who own and operate the wind farm and power station, began adding new turbines which have since generated more electricity for the country and beyond. These have been running since uh, 2014 and uh, we now have a total of 30 plants generating uh, the capacity of 25.5 megawatts. So each plant is uh, actually rated at 850 kilowatts. The location for the turbines was selected by Kenjan due to the high wind speed in the area. The turbines trap the wind and convert it into electricity. Now this power is taken out through some cables and then it goes into some transformer and then uh, it, is, uh, it is stepped up to another transformer after which it goes to the grid. The cabling was also done underground in consideration to preserve the aesthetic value of the environment for people to enjoy the scenic beauty. What you will see when you go there is just the wind towers but you'll never see the cabling. You'll only see the cabling after the big transformer which is going now to the grid system. We've propagated a lot of the grass there because when we built the towers, uh, we had actually interfered slightly with the natural environment and we actually ended up planting a lot of grass and actually some trees in some places to ensure that that place is uh, uh, pristine and it's in, uh, there is good erosion control of, of the area. It is no doubt a noble thing that Kenjen has not restricted the wind farm from public viewing, allowing them to enjoy every bit of the site at affordable rates. Our wind turbines are quite photogenic and uh, nice to look at. Kenya Forest Service also take care of the recreation. They provide things like security and the amenities there for the visitors. So as, as Kenjen, we just... Uh, use the plant to harness for power, but uh, Kenya, Kenya Forest Service, uh, they, they, we have an agreement with them where we also allow people free reign to walk around and to enjoy, to do their picnicking and to just enjoy the sights there. We are enjoying especially the windmill, the, the, the fresh air on the hill. It is no doubt that what attracts people to the hills more than anything else are these wind energy generation sites which consist of some 30 windmills adding to the scenic beauty of the hills and the forest as they silently generate power. Shabet Birir, KTN.